Namaste. My name is Rishabh and let's continue on our journey to understand and together figure out a way how to listen to Indian classical music. Right. So in the last episode what we did was we took a standard concert of Ustad Rashid Khan singing Raag Ke Dar and we broke it down into its elements. The elements which constitute an Indian classical music instrumental or vocal concert. So just to give you a quick recap, let's quickly run through those elements again. So to begin with, we have the Prarambhik Alap or the introductory Alap, which has no percussive elements to it, no tabla, nothing, just the Tanpura and the accompanying instrument. Then we move on to the Bandish, the song, remember? The Bandish has two parts, the Sthyayi, part one, and part two, the Antara. And since the grand total of the Sthyayi and the Antara are just four lines, so we need to improvise, we need to improvise a lot to stretch the concert, to keep the audience engaged. And for that, we introduce or we sing alaps or we improvise. Improvisation can be of many forms and one of them is alap. So prarambhik alap, then we move on to the part one of the bandish, wherein the tabla also begins playing with us. And then we improvise, sing alaps, etc. Then we move on to part two. And then if we wish, we can also sing alaps in the antara. And then we move back to part one increase the tempo and change our mode of improvisation, which now are tans. Tans are fast combination of notes, remember? And after singing tans, we can sing various types of tans. We also discussed them in the last episode, by the way. And then after that, when we feel that we've sung enough, we sing a tihai and then we end it. That was the basic timeline, so to say, of an Indian classical music concert, the very basic. What we're going to try and do in this episode is we're going to really try and hammer in these concepts so that we don't forget them. So we're going to go through two or three audio clips or video clips, which I've picked up from YouTube. And then we'll quickly break them down so that the concepts get really, really imprinted in your mind. And then you can go and listen to any Indian classical music concert on YouTube or maybe live. Now this is a full demonstration of a rock called Rag Bhim Palasi. It's a daytime rag, a rag which you sing around in the, in the afternoon, sung by a person called Jaitirth Mevundi who is one of the best of the 21st century. So let's give him a listen. This is the Prarambhik Ala. No tabla is being played. And the layout is exactly as we talked about in the last episode. There's a tabla, there's an accompanying instrument, harmonium. There are two Tanpuras. And those are probably students who are playing the Tanpura. So that was the Prarambhik Alap. After this comes the Bandish. Quick side note. He's, uh, Jaitirtha Mevundi is from a gharana called the Kirana Gharana who are the absolute masters of pitch perfection. So, that was the bandish, that was the sthyayi, part one. Ja jare apne mandirava. Those were the bowls, remember, the lyrics. Now what's going to come next? The alaps. What's going to come next? The Antara, part two. That's the Antara. You see how the lyrics change? Suna ho sada range tum ko chahat hai. After this, we're going to come back to this thai and maybe sing some tans. Let's see what he does. Yeah, 
Hier kam der Tanz. Dazu, dazu dann. That was an akar tan. See, he's not pronouncing notes. He's just saying. He's just singing as a akar. Very fast. Super fast. Sang the full range of the tan and then came back to the bowls. Sang it thrice, ended the demonstration. Let's move on to another one. Now this is again a wonderful demonstration of a rag called Rag Durga by one of my favorites, Pandit Venkatesh Kumar who hails from the south of India, Karnataka, but sings North Indian classical music, Hindustani classical music. Let's give him a listen. No tabla. Again, keep a lookout on the stage layout. Tabla, a company instrument, to Tanpuras. Now this is the bandish, Sakhi, Mori, Ruma, Juma. These are the bowls and as you can see it's a little slow. So this is known as the Madhyale. What we heard before, Jaitirth Mevundi sang something which went on to the Drutle. Began at somewhat Madhyale but then went on to Drutle or Fastle. This is relatively slow. Alap. Sang the full ala, came back to Sakhi Mori Ruma Juma. So he came back to the bowls, the Mukhda, remember? The first part of the bowl. Now let's see him go towards the Antara and then start singing the Antara, part two. That's the Antara, the lyrics changed. In this thai it was Sakhi Ruma Juma and now it's Rana Andheri. The bowls don't matter. You have to realize that the bowls are changing. When they change, right? That means that you've gone into part two, the antara. Let's give an the antara a listen. came back to this thai, sang the full antara, Sakhi, and then came back to Sakhi Mori, Ruma Juma, which is this thai. And now he'll probably go, no, go on to Tans. That's a Tan. Let's call this a slow tan for now. It's quite slow. And you see how he's swinging between notes? This is called an andolan. Andolan basically means to swing, right? So he's swinging between two notes. And see how carefully he's trying to handle the tan. Look at his hands. It's almost like he's handling a baby. And this is, and I, I felt like I should tell you this because when you're singing andolans, when you're swinging in between two notes, it's very easy to slip, slip off, right, and sing an off note. So see how delicately he's hand, handling the tan. Ah, 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 ah. 
you saw what he did there he wasn't able to listen to the tanpura clearly so he signaled to his students to play the tanpura a little louder so it goes like this now what we're going to listen to is him singing an akar tan but now we've really moved into a very fast tempo right so it requires such intense concentration especially if you're singing akar so just have a look at pandit ji's face and look just notice how concentrated he is one slip of note here and there and you're gone you're going to get so such intense concentration at such high tempos it's mad again that was the high eri dhana dhana now you may ask why has the bandish changed you can change bandish in between concerts we'll talk about it sometime later but it was ki eri room jhoom and now it's something else it's eri dhana dhana so we repeat it thrice ends it that was the high so with that we come to the end of this episode hope you loved it and you're free to like share subscribe also if you if you like the video make sure you like it because apparently youtube pushes this video into newer people's timelines when it when the algorithm senses that it's this video is being liked more so i would really love love it if you could uh, like the video and in the next video we'll dive down even deeper we'll try and enhance our musical learning experience and listening experience by learning specific parts of theory of musical theory which will especially help us enhance our listening experience so i'll meet you in the next episode until then namaste